Hi, I'm Raymond Tan and this is our June Manhattan Property Market Update. The opening slide here is an example of a deal we did whereby we took over an existing lease. Uh, the good side is that there's no vacancy associated with the two months or so that we need to find a tenant. But the downside is that we are inheriting an existing tenant. That's okay because we would do due diligence to make sure that the tenant has been paying on time and we would review the tenant's credit history and so forth. Um, we did the due diligence. The tenant has been there for about seven or eight years already and uh, has been a great tenant. This is the uh, living room of the apartment. It has great views. The middle is of the bathroom, very nice and high-end marble and the one on the right here is of the view. So this is an apartment with great views while being close to the subway. Usually in Manhattan when you have great views, great water views, you are at the edges of the island, either on the east or on the west because the subway lines are in the middle. So this is one of the rare apartments which is why we uh, managed to do well in terms of uh, getting or having a good tenant and we're actually in contract to sell it right now and we got a buyer who was totally wowed by the view as well as the proximity to the subway. So this is one of the rare apartments whereby it has great views and still being close to the subway. Let's move on to the next slide. This is our June property market update and these are the three key points. The first is that inflation rate as of April was at 8.3%. We are seeing a lot of global investor clients coming into Manhattan Real Estate as an inflation hedge. It's because Manhattan is one of the most stable real estate markets in the world. And in one of the next slides, you'll see that while the April inflation rate was at 8.3%, the April average rents for Manhattan was up by 32%. The second point here is that supply is increasing, which is providing a bit of relief to buyers, but it is still a seller's market. And the third point here is rents have been going up, so it's great to be a landlord right now. This is the slide that shows the historical inflation rate and in April it was at 8.3% and in March it was a bit higher, it was at 8.4% uh, or I think 8.5%. But we are at a 40-year high right now. Back in the late 70s and very early 80s, it was in the teens, but right now we are at a high. Prices are going up. The job market is doing super well. There are not enough workers to fill existing jobs. So that's why the Federal Reserve is increasing interest rates to uh, calm down the inflation as well as the economy. This is the Manhattan supply graph that shows the number of units for sale and the bars here reflect the 2022 supply. We started off with 5,000 units and for context back in late 2020 which is denoted by this line here it was almost 10,000 units. So starting 2021 there has been a lot of buyers taking advantage of low interest rates there's not enough supply, it was a seller's market and right now it's still a seller's market but uh, the relief to buyers is that the supply is slowly increasing. This chart here is the Market Pulse which is provided by Urban Dix, a data analytics firm here in Manhattan and the top part here shows if we are in a seller's market, the middle grey band here is a neutral market and the bottom part here is if we are in a buyer's market and back in late 2020 it was a buyer's market then from 2021 onwards it became a seller's market and right now it's still a seller's market because we are here but it is less of a seller's market compared to probably about six nine months ago. This is the April rental report and you can see the average Manhattan rent for the 822 was a 32% increase versus last year. It's a huge jump and we are seeing that for all our landlord clients apartments as well we have been increasing rents by anywhere from 25 to 30 percent why it's because um, people have to be back at the office 
no more working from home, no more working from a different state whereby the rents are a lot lower. Um, everyone is back and there's just not enough inventory. You can see that the listing inventory here is 77% lower versus a year ago and the vacancy rate is at 1.55% which is the lowest in the US. I believe the US average was 9 or 10%. So anyway, uh, what this uh, table shows is that rents have been increasing a lot and rents always increase with inflation or they are very related because the CPI index, um, the majority of it is housing expense. So when there's inflation, rents are always going to go up. So this is one reason why investors use real estate, specifically rental real estate as a hedge against inflation. This is a brief bio of myself and thank you for watching.